Good morning, everyone. In this video, we will give you a guide and tips for chapter three of my Java book. Chapter three is um, selection statements. First, we introduce the Boolean variables. So this is the uh, keyword and Boolean to declare a Boolean variable. The variable can receive and one of those two values, true or false. You can form a Boolean expression and using the relational operators. So these are the Java relational operators, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, equal to, not equal to. So please note that in mathematics, when you write this uh, less than or equal to, this is the symbol. In Java, you have to write these two symbols together, less than and equal, put together, becoming less than or equal to. <laughs> Using Boolean expressions, you can write selection statements. So if this condition is true, so you do something, and that's if statement. Now you can have two way if statement. If this condition is true and you perform this operation, else you're gonna perform other operation. So this is two way if statement. You can have nested if and multi-way if else statements. So this is if, else if, else if, else if, else. So here, section 3.6 lists some common errors and pitfalls students often and get when using this uh, selection statements. So please uh, read this uh, section. And then we go to uh, uh, some of these case studies. And one thing is, this is very useful, is how you're gonna generate uh, random numbers. So please read this section on uh, generating uh, random numbers and using random numbers to write uh, very interesting programs. So here uh, is logical operators. So we introduce the uh, logical operators. Here's uh, you get and and or exclusive ball. So this is the uh, uh, table and to show you how this is works for this, the, uh, uh, or this, uh, this is not and or exclusive all. And so you can see this is how you and do this is for this is uh, uh, and for this all and for exclusive all. All right, um, this case study is often used is the, to determine leap year. So please study, and this is how and you determine leap year and using mathematic formula and put together and using a Boolean expression to determine and whether a year is Boolean year. So this is for the uh, uh, switch statements and expressions, so here. And so look at the switch statements and expressions right here. <clears throat> so, um, so this is the uh, switch statement. And you, instead of writing it if, else, if, else, if, so you can have this as a switch statement like for performing uh, computing tax. So the status of the uh, tax is, is it zero, you're gonna do this. And then afterwards break. And if it's one, do this afterwards and break. So don't forget the break is uh, is needed. And if you use the uh, switch statement, all right. Um, so if you don't have it, and this is the uh, the case, it's called a fall through case. Now um, there's another way to write this code uh, in uh, <clears throat> Java uh, 14. And onward is to use the uh, and this symbol here. And instead of using that uh, uh, <clears throat> match the case, the uh, using the 
colon, and you can use this as the uh, use this uh, arrow operator. So you don't have to put a break here. So if this day is one, so you get this one, and then it's over for this switch statement. So using this new arrow operator, you don't need to have a break. <laughs> now you can have a, a switch expression here is, so you say, I'm gonna print this. So print the, here is a value here. So you can have a value and you don't need to have a statement here. So here, look, you have a statement right here, but this is a simple value. All right, so here, this is the uh, switch statements and expression. And so, and also here, and look at this, the operator uh, presidents and associativity. And so just to summarize everything we have learned, but before this, uh, there's one thing is called a conditional operator. That's very useful too. It's for uh, simplify your coding. So if you have, this is the, if X is greater than zero, so assign one, to y, otherwise negative one to y. So all these four lines, you can write it a simple one line code. So here is, uh, this is the condition. So here's right here, x is greater than zero. If that's true, so that is going to be one and otherwise negative one. So here is a question mark and this is the colon. So here, this is the syntax together. It's called a conditional operator. All right, um, as usual, so when you do this, uh, all this programming exercises, so come in here, and so you do this, uh, all this programming exercises. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna sign back to Revel. So look at all this uh, programming exercises here. And this is the uh, end of... Uh, okay, so we got the <laughs> unknown server hero. So uh, if you have this, kind of arrows and just wait for maybe half hour and come back to check. So there's a, um, this is something that just happened. But anyway, so this is go back here. Um, uh, this is actually, it's a, it's an ebook. It doesn't have the uh, programming exercises. When you use Revel and you have the, uh, all these programming exercises, it's assigned by your instructor. So you can do this, all this, all these projects. So when you do the projects and go back to this uh, website here to get the hint for this chapter three programming exercises. So here's a programming project one, two. So for each, we have the hint. And also, so please, and, and you design your code first and then compare your design and with the hint and then begin to write your code. So here, everything, there's a common error here also. And it's a very helpful hint. So after you write your code and test it on your end, and then click this exercise. Um, so this is the link, it's a, a 03 underscore 03. So this is for programming project one. You click on this, and this is gonna be able to check exercise two. And you can and copy and paste your code here and then click uh, uh, automatic check and to check it and before you submit uh, back to Revel. Okay, now I actually got it back here. This is the uh, uh, chapter three. So you can see here we have this is uh, programming project one and two, three. So this is all here. And if your instructor assigns uh, this programming project, you can do the programming project. 
And so this is going to submit it here. But as I just mentioned, so look at the hint. This is the hint page and, and see and the entire hint and write your code and then go to the check exercise tool and then finally submit it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.